roof exhauster not working. Okay. Not good. Something hitting the lower wheels hitting the inside. I'm gonna take this uh check this way off. Yeah, it doesn't have the hitting. Blade, the blower wheel fell down. I'm gonna get my Allen keys. Well, it looks like when the fan blade, the fan blade dropped down, um, the motor burned up. No protection. Um, little green heck guy. Um, of course, wiring diagram is non-existent. And I wish the wiring diagram was as durable as this. Looks like that's a Dayton number, that 4M222D. Yeah, Dayton. Granger time tomorrow morning. New motor. I what year this motor is? Mm. Yeah. Got a date on this? I don't know. Could be sixteen. DB2 EO16. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know. Who cares at this point? Just need a new motor. This one looks kind of worked. So, time for a freshie. Alright. To get this thing apart, you just gotta do undo one, two, three, just four bolts. Just take them out. And. Should be a few, few nuts on the other side of this. Take off the blower wheel first. So these nuts, bolts come out, then the wheel comes off, and the motor comes off, and reverse order to put it back together. All right, let's do her. Okay. Wheel, wheel comes off with there's two Allens right here inside the right here one allen and another allen one of them goes on the flat and this is the other one goes on the round part if it had a double flat motor then you'd have a, pl a place for both the allens to tighten on the two flats but this motor doesn't have that um, size of the allen key is 530 seconds Okay, let's do this. Okay, after you get done fighting with the wheel, you get it off gently. Comes off like that. Um, then you just take out these, take off these four nuts. Doesn't matter if you bust them off. They are they're on the motor, so you just you're not going to reuse it. So just take the nuts off. And then you get your motor in your hand. These nuts seem to be 3 8 So, uh, they come off pretty easy. They weren't even... I think there's a rubber mount on there, so... Huh. Yeah, amazing. They look so bad. And they come off so easy. Soaked a little oil on them. But there we go. Okay. We got a, uh... A base size of 17 and a 3 8 Yeah. 17 and 3 8 probably, probably 17 and 3 8 square, I'm guessing. Yeah. So it's 17 and 3 8 square. 
The wheel is 11 inches across. And uh, the wheel's three inches wide. Okay, that's that. Got the green, got the model number on the other. Yeah, it's 115 volt. Okay, that's that. Yeah, um, this motor's supposed to just like, when you undo the nuts, the motor should just come unattached. Yeah, right. I think it's all rusted. Must be the steam when they're doing the bacon. Everything's rusted. Um, salt water. The, the, yeah, the places are beside the beach, but I've done one of these motors once before and it wasn't all rusted like this. It came apart a lot easier, but this thing is all rusted, man. So, since, since it won't come out of those little brass furls, that it's in that the I think the uh, I think there's a brass thing inside of the rubber grommet uh, that the mild steel is rusted to the mild steel furl and the mild steel threaded part. So I WD forty'd it and tapped on it a bit with a bead on it a little bit and. They don't move, so I'm going to sawzall it off here. So I end up with just four little things sticking out, and hopefully I can take the brass part out of the rubber part and then get them apart. Hopefully, otherwise, so I don't have these special rubber thingies. Uh, anyways, uh. Otherwise, we're going to be buying a whole new thing. Unless you guys know where to get them rubber, the rubber thingies with the metal part inside. Okay, well, this is how I this is how I got it cut loose. I think it's going pretty good. Uh, this last one seems to be moving. It moves. I think it comes in and out by itself, so I think it'll come out. So hopefully. Just took a sawzall, long blade, metal blade. A lot of teeth, fine teeth. You want fine teeth and just let the blade, use a new blade. Make your life easier, man. Always use new blades. Uh, just let the blade do the work don't push on it too hard and let it just chew its way through and you'll feel it it'll just start biting all right let's check it out okay so i think that worked out pretty good um wow um uh so this one actually unscrewed like when i hit it a while ago I bent the nut a little bit on it and so I just unscrewed it out of the hole so that one unscrewed so I got two out of the four out of the holes and I think this one looks like it'll unscrew so I got two and of course you'll always have one problem one that ruins your whole life ruins your whole day um, so, got something to grab onto with some pliers though. Let me grab on a, these things with pliers and see what we get. But boy, can this stuff get rusted on. Okay, let's see what we got. Got two out of four out. Let's see if we can get the other ones. Okay. So, sorry about that guys. Um, hopefully I can edit that out, but, all right, um, these are my home tools, so just my junk stuff, uh, so I think these, 
Hopefully the, all that sawzalling, sometimes you find that, that all that sawzalling and that rattling and that that total vibration stuff from the sawzall really, you know, knocks stuff loose a little bit, especially when it's little stuff. So you get you, and I soaked it with WD-40 about a half hour before I got to it all, so I think that, yeah, that one might just come out. Okay, so, all right, we got some stuff going on now. We got, got three, three out. We got one, two, three holes. Hopefully this one we can do something with. We could. It's definitely I think it's the way to go. Yeah. Then I could uh, I think what I'll do is I'll grab a drill bit, drill bit and just because these these holes are supposed to be clear clearanced enough so that those will slide in and out so I'm going to drill the hole out just clean it up with a drill bit because uh, it must have rust inside that thing so that those so that the new so that the new motor um, studs slide in the holes so hopefully Rubbers are not, not rubbery anymore. Any of you guys know where to get new rubbers? Let me see it's a drugstore. <laughs> so, let's see if I took the nut off the other side. No, I didn't. <laughs> fighting with myself. <laughs> so easy of a job I think my client said oh yeah easy job yeah I hate it I go don't say that he totally jinxed the job um, but anyways got lucky man on that I hope so let me clean up those holes so those holes are not supposed to be threaded and they look like they're threaded in there Look at that in there. I don't know if you can see. But they look threaded. Anyways, let me run a drill bit through those holes. the new motor in um, put anti seize on the shaft and every, on the uh, bolts you know the studs and the washers and everything I 
anti-seized everything because man everything was really seized up last time so anti-seized nuts um, tried to get stainless nuts and washers at Home Depot but they were all sold out so um, had to get uh, galvanized or zinc or whatever they are um, put a star washer like this star I don't know where they are they're in a bucket or something I mean, it was the star washers and a regular nut um, 1032 is the size of uh, the nut and it's 3 8 use a 3 8 nut driver and then then I cinched it down with a 3 8 open end a box wrench anti seize the shaft now I'm gonna hit the wheel put the wheel on um, and I'm going to start on my preventive maintenance checking the wheel tightness because the wheel the wheel fell off causing this failure I believe because um, somehow the wheel got loose so anyways um, so uh, I'm going to check the wheel every year on maintenance or whenever I'm on the roof so let me get the wheel and then I can put my hangers I believe back on here maybe uh, believe okay okay I ran a uh, tubing brush a little big should have picked the next size smaller but um, hopefully it's okay ran it down the center of that hole to hopefully if I ever have to do another motor, make my life easier. Yeah. A little loose. Yeah. Okay, little babies going in. These screws, these bolts, go into the bottom. Go into the bottom piece. That's what holds everything together. They go in up there and that there's the wheel all tightened up get a little bit of clearance between here and here and no rubby so have to go hopefully there remember to pull your cable up when you set them back down pull the cable up and put it down like that so it doesn't hit, hit any dampers or it's all good so let's wire it in okay how do I uh, deadhead wires in a box that you're not using um, I take a butt connector and put it on the end so you could just throw the butt connector in the box um, but I go one step more and uh, put duct tape around it I do the length of the duct tape and then just fold it in half that way it seals it out from any moisture or whatever and then you can throw it in the box uh, so that's how I did head wires yeah. so this is how I do it just take a piece of duct tape duct tape and you just see if I can do it with one hand you just fold it in half like that okay and then just leave a bunch there so it seals it off and then just snip it off with some scissors or whatever. Okay, she's running 2.78 amps and the running load on it uh, is 3.0 I believe. It should be somewhere yeah 3.0 amps there you go under the 4M222D. So 115 volt, 3 amps, counterclockwise shaft hinge. Here's a wiring diagram. Whites are common, blacks are high. That's what I got it wired off. And then just the other two are dead headed. 2.77. I did notice that the thing, uh, Draws some pretty good startup amps though. If you were to put some protection on this thing, uh, definitely uh, 
draws about five amps or more. Probably put a uh, probably put a 10 amp fuse on this. I'm gonna put a disconnect on this thing. None of them have disconnects on the wall at all um, or anything. There's no protection on these things, so they're both wired together, and they're also wired up to an outlet on the roof over there too. It's <laughs> so yeah, definitely want to put some protection. Maybe save a motor. So, I'll have to figure out how I'm gonna do that. Do that in the winter time. She's running. Okay, cool. Blowing. I don't know if you can see. There you go. Blowing 2.7 amps. Uh, can run 3 amps max on the tag. Anyway, it's off. So, yeah, running, running under the running load, so that's good. Um, so she's running. And the other one is too. This one's doing better though. This one's putting out a lot more air than this one. Maybe this one's not ready to go too. Okay, just gotta button it up. Clean up all my everything mess, everything everywhere, and put the top and wiring back together. All right, and then I'll be out of here. I'll text you when I leave. Hey, okay, ground wire is all hooked up. Just gotta. Put the switch back in the hole and the cover back on and clean up this mess and get the heck out of here. Okay, 10 o'clock at night. Old motor had to be cut out. One, two, three, four points of securing. These three had to be cut off to uh, get the darn motor out of the thing. This thing was rusted really bad. The steam coming off that uh, oven must really uh, just waste a motor. Just uh, it burned up my uh, my fan motor. The uh, this thing, this twenty bucker I told you about, this right here. Burned burned up that motor. The hot steam uh, wasted it. <laughs> Thought it might last a couple days, but apparently not. <laughs> Hey, a little bonus. I uh, wanted to let you guys know those Wagos work really good um, when trying to put wires in a uh, two by four box like that when you got to put a switch in on top. The Wagos are so thin, you can put them on actually on the side of the box, on one on each side, and the switch will slide right down the middle. So that's a little bonus for you guys that uh, hung in all the way to the end of the video. Um, yeah, only three amps on the motor, so you know, three to five amps, you know, low amp application. Um, the Wagos work really nice for whatever you got to do with the wires, you know, playing with them, take them in and out, or whatever you got to do. Um, but really happy with the Wagos um, for fitting in a small two by four box when a switch has got to go in with it. So, all right, bonus. Uh, all right, take care, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and. Uh, Click like on the video if you could and subscribe and uh, uh, take care. Have a good one. Bye.